Welcome to this week's Construction Bulletin on Africa, brought to you by Construction Review, Africa's leading construction channel. I am Yvonne Andiva. In this week's news, Ghana's Hope City to host Africa's tallest tower, Renaissance Dam Power Project gets $1 billion US dollar loan, the Africa Development Bank approves $155 million US dollar loan for Kenya's Lake Turkana Wind Power Project, Namibia's Nekatel Dam construction to proceed as planned. Internationally, Arab and BBJ to design Samsung's new corporate building in California. Damak to build Trump International Golf Club in Dubai. And in events today, we feature the Bauma Monich 2013 held at Messe München Exhibition Center in Germany on 15th to 21st April. Welcome. We begin this week's news in Ghana where construction is expected to begin next month on Hope City, a planned 10 billion US dollar technopolis outside Accra in Ghana. The ambitious high-tech hub that aims to turn Ghana into a major ICT hub in West Africa will host Africa's tallest tower. Hope City will be developed in an area of about 1.5 million square meters located some 30 minutes west of Accra city center. Designed by Italian firm architect OBR, it will comprise six towers of different dimensions, including a 75-story, 270-meter-high tower that is expected to be the highest in Africa. A system of bridges at different heights will link the towers together, creating a circular connection between the buildings, functions, and public amenities. Hope City is a brainchild of Ghanaian businessman Roland Agambire, 39, owner of local technology firm RLG Communications. On completion by mid 2016, Hope City is expected to house 25,000 residents and create jobs for 50,000 people. Over to Ethiopia, where Mihret Debebe, Chief Executive Officer of the Ethiopian Electric Power Corporation and China Electric Power Equipment and Technology Company Limited of SGCC has signed a 1 billion US dollar loan agreement for the construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam Power Transmission Line project. The project, which will cost an estimated 1.2 US dollar, has a total length of 700 kilometers. Upon completion, the GERD Dedesa Holeta Power Transmission Project will have 500 kilovolts double circuit transmission lines to the new Dedesa, then Holeta substations, following which it will join the national grid via the 400 kilovolts line from Holeta to Sebeta 2, Holeta to Susulta 2, and Holeta to Akaki 2 substations. Signing the agreement, the CEO noted that the project is one of the biggest extra high voltage transmission lines in Africa. In Kenya, the African Development Bank has approved a 155 million US dollar loan to finance the development of Lake Turkana wind power project within Loyangani in northern Kenya. Built as Africa's largest wind power project, 776 million US dollar power project includes the construction and operation of a 300 megawatt wind power farm with 365 turbines of 850 kilowatts capacity each. The wind farm will sit on 40,000 acres of Loyangalani district stretching from 400 meters in the shore of Lake Turkana at 2,300 meters above sea level at the top of Mount Kulal. This area has strong winds that blow predictably and consistently at an average speed of 11 meters per second thanks to the daily temperature fluctuations. According to the president of African Development Bank, Donald Kaberuka, the project will benefit Kenya by providing clean and affordable energy that will reduce the overall energy cost to consumers. In Namibia, the Namibia Minister of Agriculture, Water and Forestry, John Mutorua, has related the government's determination to continue with the construction of the multi-billion dollar Nekatol Dam. 
In a statement issued recently, Mutoro said the government has awarded the tender to build a 335 million US dollar dam to the Italian construction firm Salini SPA. Mutoro said the ministry should be allowed to practically implement the tender board of Namibia's 14th March 2013 decision as well as the relevant and applicable earlier cabinet decision without any further delay. The dam is to be built in the Fish River, 40 km west of Ketamen Shop, with aim of irrigate 5,000 hectares of land in the arid south of the country. And internationally, Arup, a UK-based multidisciplinary engineering and consulting firm, has partnered with NBBJ, an architecture firm, to design the new corporate building for Samsung in Silicon Valley, California. The 10-story, 1.1 million square feet office building will feature research facilities, a clean room, a data center, a cafeteria pavilion, and a nine-story parking garage. The office tower features open garden floors, on-site fitness center, yoga space, and an extensive courtyard. Arup has stated that the facade for the open plan office configuration has been designed to maximize the use of daylighting, taking advantage of the courtyard's access to sunlight while reducing solar gain to create a healthy, productive workplace interior. The structural design enables the ground and the garden floors to remain column free on the east and west sides by integrating centivalia and bridge elements in the office floors. In UAE, Dama Properties Company LLC has announced plans to build a 18-hole PGA Championship golf course to be named Trump International Golf Club Dubai. The 7,205-yard par 71 course will be located just 10 minutes from Sheikh Zayed Road and site at the 28 square, square meter feet Akoya by Dama Master Plan Development. Trump International Golf Club Dubai will include a 30,000 square feet clubhouse and a luxurious Trump Spa and Wellness Center, which will be managed to the highest standards by the Trump Organization. The clubhouse will be located over the 9th and 18th greens with luxurious changing rooms, spectacular amenities and world-class service. The construction work on the course is already underway and it will be ready for play in 2014. In events this week, we featured Boma Munich 2013, an impressive turnout of 530,000 visitors from over 200 countries converged on the Messe München Exhibition Center in Munich, Germany between April 15th and 21st for the world's largest trade show. Not only did this edition of BOMA break all previous records for exhibitor numbers and exhibition space, it also attracted the highest number of visitors ever. With over 200,000 visitors from outside Germany, the number of international attendees was higher than ever before. The response this year was simply outstanding. The top 10 countries of origin among the visitors were Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Italy, the Russian Federation, France, Netherlands, Great Britain, Sweden, and Poland. Indonesia, Burma's partner country this year was also strongly represented with a high mark political delegation and around 800 visitors were present. Exhibitors presented the latest products and innovations in construction and mining machinery at Burma 2013 on a record exhibition space of 570,000 square meters. Thank you for choosing to watch Construction Review News. For more news, the digital version of our print edition, our directory, and much more on the construction industry in Africa, please visit www.constructionreviewonline.com. Until next week, I'll be one and you one.